Hello, this is RPI, and I wish to welcome you to something else. Something else I'm planning on doing. Well, I really just been having an idea for like a while now, and uh, it, it always comes to me in such weird ways. I was thinking about doing something called the Howard Half Hour, where I spend 30, 30 minutes about talking about whatever I want. Okay, let's just get right into it. So, I just been sitting around wondering why the why my YouTube recommendations is always messed up. It's always something. Like you watch a video about like, I don't know, Toy Story, and you get a bunch of Toy Story memes and stuff like that. It is so insulting to me to see all this uh, this nonsense everywhere. I just wonder I just miss the days. When the re recommendation stuff wouldn't go to what's the highest viewed or whatever. It would actually go to new stuff, you know. Stuff that they actually think you'd like and not all this meme stuff. Just like with freaking Team Fortress. You watch a video of Team Fortress 2 or something. And then you get all these source filmmaker nonsense and all this stuff. Like, ah, oh, man. All of this cringeworthy stuff and freaking... Uh, I can't even go into it, man. You you start to like one thing about Team Fortress or anything, any game, any like book or any any concept you like it, and it's like the first thing YouTube recommends is always either one of two things: cringe, clickbait, terrible stuff, or crappy jokes and memes. I just don't get it. I get enough of those jokes and memes everywhere else on this dang internet. And I'm scratching my head trying to figure out what's the dang purpose of all, all of it. We get... It, it, just here's a little something I like to feel about memes, okay? They're the first thing you hear and know that whatever you're listening to isn't funny and never will be. Because the word mimetic, I heard it or I heard like a well-detailed explanation of it one time. And that is essentially like you hear something to the joke that it no, like you, you hear something to the point that it's become common. So like like I don't know, you see a river and everybody says river washing and you and you say, ah, river washing. That doesn't make it funny, that doesn't make it entertaining, that doesn't make it it just makes it lame. You know? Like freaking back in middle school or whatever, you hear people say stuff like like, Oh, that's cool or oh they they'd say like a joke that they heard on a TV or like on anything and you'd well, at least I would immediately go, Wow, this got real stupid. This is kind of cringe and this this is terrible. That's exactly how I feel about these freaking meme stuff. It's just it's the one way you reap the entertainment out of something that may have once been funny. It sucks too. I wish so much that the internet wouldn't dissolve to this. But sadly, that's just what it is. And with the internet being more populated by younger people or more younger-minded people, it's just going to happen on repeat. I don't even think there's going to be an end to this. And people may say, like, ah, oh, man, there's probably was some, like, jokes or whatever in smaller places before the internet. But, like, that's like a culture thing, though. And now we got this entire web of people to dis to freaking want to discuss this memetic stuff. And it's honestly so infuriating. Infuriating, I mean. And why, oh, why do we come to this, too? Why do I have to see memes involving everything? And back when I was doing these Gotchaverse parody videos with, with my friend back in the day, they would just literally post videos with, the, with like, in parentheses, meme. And and I, I had no idea what the hell they were on about. And still to this day, I have no clue. Like, I click it and then it will show, like, I don't know, some a character or something, like, music going on. And, I don't know, they dance or something. I don't really know. It was so strange. That's the, that's the lightest way to put it. And that's what I feel like everybody's doing. Like, devolving into a state where just like a sort of a kid makes a makes a thing puts parentheses meme and everybody watches it and like laughs and such that's where i feel like we're going to where everything's just gonna dissolve into not even funny humor most of it's involving tiktok too which means a uh, just uncreative like 30 second clips of somebody dancing or somebody saying something like rude or racist or uh them reacting to somebody being rude or racist it's just a wishy-washy of the same stuff over and over and over again. 
you might say, oh man, that, that's the synopsis of media as itself. Wow, everything's just repeating itself on and on and on until you go crazy. Well, that's just the thing that I strive to try to, the wish to find new new ways to appreciate things. Like it's, gone, it's come to the point where I can't even like watch or play a game without going like, ah oh, man. This community sucks. Like, the freaking memeing about some... Like, an Overwatch they called a gorilla since, like, I don't know, since, like, 2016, a monkey. And it's been a gorilla this whole time. It's never been a monkey. And I just don't understand how you can be so stupid. You might say, oh, man, it's funny because they're calling a gorilla a monkey. It's not a monkey. It's a gorilla. Ha ha, silly. But, you know... I thought we all grew out of that. Haha, ha, that's not what it is. <laughs> Freaking aspect when we were like, I don't know, fourth graders. Where we stop pointing at things that are stupid and go like, ah, oh, that's funny. Like, oh man, that's not how it is. Haha, <laughs> like what, what? what is this? Are, are we making fun of ourselves at this point? Are you going to start calling me? Oh man, he's a homo sapien. Ah, uh, he ain't a homo sapien. Technically he is, but he's a human being. Ah, uh, you silly. It makes no it makes no damn sense. I I just don't understand. And then it comes to the stuff with uh I for instance watched something very similar. Like well it's not very it's like variant, but still in the end it's the same thing. I watch a lot of uh, American football. Sometimes I watch some Canadian football, but I watch a lot of the stuff in that sense. Mostly the same, right? And that's the thing, uh, if I'm getting mad about everything becoming samey, and I watch things that become samey, then when, and where do I draw the line? Now, just like with the video games, or whatever that can be competitive, there's usually a huge variance of how things could be, with the exception of maybe chess. Well, there are huge variants, but they're not as, like, big as, a uh, games with, like, a bunch of interactive elements, but, or, like, checkers. Well, those are simple things. They, like, uh, you know, let's just put it as, like, scenario where it's, like, that that can be, like, a 16 by 16 area of a bunch of possibilities, while in something that's a lot bigger, you know, it's, like, for example, say, like, a thousand by a thousand of, like, a po- possibilities of what could happen. I'm not trying to say I'm trying to, like, line it up in numbers of possibilities of, like, the, in- the interactivity, but, Even when you play chess, it's all very similar. Even when you play video games, it's all very similar in the end. So that's the sort of, like, sameness we're going through. And, and I hate that humor is falling into that category, too. And, uh, with, like, low brain humor, like, uh, like, well, man, what's that called? Uh, memes. They, they are the example of why sameness is truly the most painful thing about living in modern day society. I'm not trying to say like it was better back in the past because it wasn't. I mean, in the past, uh, it wasn't better mainly because all the racism that happened in America and everywhere else in the world. Truly, we have to have, there has to be something better than this. There has to be something better than a guy making a face from like a video made in 2000, no, like 1976 of a guy making a face and then some loser finds it and then, uh, and then freaking posts it on, uh, Reddit or something and everybody loves it and then they start posting it to their friends. Surely that has to, there's have to be something better than that in this realm we live in. Surely there has to be something, something more like rewarding. You don't. There isn't no sense of discovery. Maybe for the first guy who found the face, like, aha, this is funny. Maybe that guy somewhere is going like, oh, yeah, I've discovered something fantastic. But for everybody else, maybe... No, it's not. I just gotta say, as soon as you find out it's a meme and that you weren't the first guy to discover it, it's kind of disappointing. There's been, like, a few exceptions. There's been, like, a meme that happened sometimes, like, 2016 or whatever. I found it on Discord forever ago. And uh, I typed in, like, ghost or something, and it was a guy doing a peace sign and then, like, fading out. And I found out that that was actually a big meme back in 2016. Maybe this is just my hipster credentials going up. But I kind of, like, rediscovered it, and it was, like, hilarious. And I had to scroll all the way down in the gifts thing and find it right on the bottom. And and I, and I kind of felt proud about that. But no doubt to the people who's probably seen that thousands of times before... It's just a reminder of how annoying it, it, it is. Like, I rediscovered something annoying. But to me, it was amazing. But to them, it was annoying. And that's what we're doing to humor. We can't we can't look on at, like, the greatness of Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. We, we, can't, we can't do that no more. I mean, I do it behind closed doors where nobody's watching so that nobody will ruin it for me. 
But for the people who already have it ruined, no doubt it's one of the worst things ever. Freaking, oh man, there isn't a frame of Gaston's face that isn't hilarious. And and I and I have to try my best to avoid anything involving freaking anything in that line. Because no doubt as soon as I realize that my one of my favorite faces is like a meme or something, I'm going to take it a lot less seriously. And it's a... Uh, gonna be a lot uh, it's gonna just suck it's not gonna be funny anymore and it's just gonna become bland and overplayed <sighs> freaking speaking of overplayed stuff i'm sure a lot of people love queen and all that and all their songs like i can't even min- like i've heard them growing up and i gotta say i hate queen every since since the word every single damn movie i watched growing up they had a queen song in there somewhere and it was always the freaking one of two freaking songs and come to the point that I absolutely hate hearing it. And whenever I hear it on the radio or where, wherever I hear it in like a friend's playlist, I tell him to skip it because it's just so obnoxious. You hear the, I'm pretty sure everybody knows l- the lyrics by heart and can close their eyes and hear like a metronome and maybe go with it. But I just, I just can't stand it anymore. And this happened when I was young too. So I heard it and just couldn't stand it anymore then. So no doubt when somebody brings up, oh man, this song's great. I, I go like, who made this again? And then they go like Queen and like, ah, wow. Okay. Could you change it? And they're like, ah, like that is exactly why it sucks. I feel like I missed out on a lot of appreciation when it comes to stuff like that, with the sure fact that it becomes overplayed. And, uh, and that's what I'm I'm fearing the internet's becoming. And my favorite website in the planet is YouTube because it has been the source of entertainment for me for so long and it just sucks i feel like it's going uh, the, the youtube-ness is going downhill as well freaking ai's out to get me sending me all these cringeworthy videos and all this terrible stuff man i got a feeling i could click on something like i don't know the theory of relativity or something and then i get like a bunch of meme compilations of the theory of relatively in my freaking recommendation list <sighs> It just sucks. And the community, too. A lot of YouTubers are pandering towards the uh, younger demographic, which loves the uh, meme stuff. I hate it, but they love it. So it sucks that you're in the minority about anything because the majority is going to overrule and the results speak for themselves. But everything's going downhill because of it. There isn't any funny jokes. Well, th- there isn't much funny jokes left that isn't meme worthy. I feel like whenever somebody tries to make a joke, I hear one of those like over the top screaming or like a monkey like grabbing a door or screaming or something. Whenever something scary is ha- ha- happening. Taken away from the like true value of humor and stuff. And fearfulness or something. Like, when whenever somebody tries to make a comparison, it's always like a stupid meme. Like, ah, man. Like, oh, here's the Halo Flood theme or whatever. And here's my reaction to it. And it's not their reaction to it. It's like a, it's like a meme of like a kid crying in a corner. Then like it'll show gameplay footage and the kid's like crying harder. And then like the kid going like, no. And then like something popping out. Like, it's just, wow. It's just... Uh, the comparisons it just sucks it sucks so much i just wish we could do better but no we can't we cannot and it will never get any better than this and we're it's just going downhill from here and the world is in well, the world is on fire we're all gonna die yeah yeah you know it. and i just uh how i say i just a lot because i know it's so frustrating to, to me beyond belief <sighs> Dios mio. Uh, and i Here's another hilarious thing about the recommend the recommendation stuff because YouTube has a grip on my freaking on my life because they've known me because I never deleted my watch the, my watch history since I, I don't know since like 20 I forget when my YouTube channel was made but I, thought, I don't know like I'm just going to guess 2012 so they have a uh, over 11 years experience with my YouTube profile so their AIs all know the videos I watched throughout this entire time, and it sucks. Like I booted up some web, some uh, websites that things that nobody knows me, and it's refreshing to see advertisements like that's that thinks I'm a girl, or thinks that I'm a uh, Spanish, or speak Spanish, or thinks that I'm Canadian. And that's always the funniest when they think you're from a different country, and uh, like that, like that's the algorithm I want to see. Where it treats you like they don't know you. And the thing is that 
the things that happened in my past, at least like a majority of uh, of it, like a year or so later, I'll look back on it and go like, uh, that was kind of cringe. Why'd I do that? Or, uh, that's kind of cringe. Why'd I listen to that? And you can't really scrub it because it's so far back on your watch history that it will just keep showing up out of the blue and reminding you like, ah, I distanced myself. Like, for instance, the freaking... I used to be a terribly bad, cringeworthy fan of Daggett Rampa. Well, not to the fact I like drew my own guys or anything that actual cringe people did or make their own Instagram stories about their own guys and stuff. It's okay. The rabbit hole goes deeper than anything you could possibly imagine. I wasn't a, I wasn't that bad, but I was just a huge fan of the like I like the gameplay and the story. The story's kind of like I knew it was dumb, but I kind of liked it. Now, this is me in the past. And then, uh, and then one day I got a YouTube recommendation. It was about the V3 characters, which is the third game and some of them being like revealed. And I clicked on it cause I was curious about what the new characters are going to look like or act like. And I got smacked in the face with the hard curb of reality. And that was, I got to hear face first what a popular fan of the series thinks about it. The dude first pointed out, I see possible waifus here. And I, and I, and I was like, what the, f- what the hell? And he's like, ah, oh man, this guy has the, has the spiky hair on the top. He must be the main character. And I go like, oh God, it was just nothing but assumptions and freaking outlandish fan theory stuff then i realized that youtube thought i was one of those people it made me so insulted i erased that from my watch history blocked that guy's channel and uh and it just sucked because because i distanced myself from the dagarampa community freaking period after that one video i'm not even sure if it was popular I, I just remember seeing it and never wanting anything to do with Daganrapa again. And that's that's why I hate the algorithm so much. They push all this stuff towards you that you'll hate it. That you'll freaking hate it. Like, I, I have half a mind to hate TF2 because all these YouTubers are giving me is making it look like a freaking, like a clown show. Pestering, toward, pestering towards children. I feel like I'm watching children's shows here. And I saw that with other YouTube videos where they're like, first is like, like kind of good humor. And then they just go down memes. And then they go down like friendly freaking child stuff nothing's freaking funny anymore maybe i'm just going through like a cynicalist freaking stage of my life but that's just what i feel like this this youtube algorithm is doing to everything that i like it's squishing it molding it into some square of perfect perfection for children and stuff like that and i hate it absolutely hate it oh my goodness i ended up replaying a dagger robber v3 well I, i played it later on in life because because uh, some of my friends knew I liked it a lot, and then I just suddenly I just stopped talking about it. Then, then whenever somebody would mention it, I go like, "Ah, no, I'm good," or it's like, "Oh, that thing sucks," like, and they go like, "Why?" And then eventually, I was forced forced into playing it. Well, basically, it was like I, I was open to like I was distanced myself so much from the community that at, at the point I go like, maybe I, I can look look at this like like through like through a better lens so i played it by myself but when i was playing it through myself i realized a cringe comment a comment of that guy was burned into my head he said this like little witch girl or something was was the biggest waifu material and i and i just couldn't scratch that from my head so i ended up hating that chick then later on it turned out that that oh my god it just just if if this guy was being honest about his taste and waifus or whatever, it it shows a lot of alarming pedophilia like like obsession with stuff. And oh god. Just I can't believe one video destroyed how I feel about a thing that I used to love. Same thing that happened with Five Nights at Freddy's, same thing that happened with the uh, a lot of popular YouTubers I listened to when I when I was a kid. One video changed my entire perspective on them. And it wasn't a video about somebody critiquing them. It was a video of their fans. And that is why I hate the algorithm. Not because they get not because they give you memes. Not not because they they keep feeding you stuff that you don't wanna that you don't want to eat or whatever. It's because they keep recommending myself to the their fans. The, 
like I can't even name a like a community of fans that isn't degenerate. Maybe you can name some speedrunner stuff, but even that stuff's just degeneracy. Freaking Overwatch community, well, like any pro game communities are all obsessed with being good and will constantly badger uh, newer players and stuff like that. And like, and their humor is terrible, never once good. And it's just going to make people like me hate everything more. And that's... And that's what my biggest fear about YouTube in itself. The algorithm. I'm sure you heard thousands of YouTubers mention it. I'm not trying to say... I'm not trying to go like, Oh man, the algorithm's bad because it's making my channel worse. I could give less of a crap about my channel. And I honestly really... This is this should always really be a hobby, you know? And whenever I see YouTubers treating it like a job, I always go like... Should I continue watching them because they're going to start pandering for their bigger audience or, you know, with some rarer cases, they still, they still keep their ideal vision. And those are the typical, the people I watch. <sighs> and then like, they all pander towards the pan, uh, well, what's that called? Or you can like follow them. I want to say Pandora, but that's a music streaming thing. Uh, now what is it called? Where you can like Patreon, that's it. Where you can subscribe to their Patreon and then you get like exclusive videos and a video shout out. I see younger channels with Patreons and stuff where they basically let their Patreon supporters decide everything that they do. And uh it's it's a really like a ba- a sign of bad things to come and that is a uh, pander to the money people and screw your hobby, now it's become a job. That's just the sadness that a lot of YouTube channels are going. Honestly, I'd sooner die. Like, seriously, I'd sooner die than try to pursue a career in YouTube. What a utterly pathetic thing I've ever seen. Or in streaming. Like, you can't even count how many damn streamers there are. And I've seen, like, the streamer pay revenue or whatever. And I go, like, people are complaining they're not getting paid enough. Or they're getting paid... Or people are complaining that streamers are getting paid too much from streaming. And I go, like, wow. You guys really have nothing better to complain about than watching, like, people who play games that they probably hate at this point because they play it every single day or or they play it like in a schedule or they play it and have to talk to like their audience and stuff they, they're probably gonna they're gonna end up with some sort of social issues later on in life with how with how much they talk to internet texts that show up on your screen and give them money like oh man yeah i know i just basically said streamers are going to be socially uh inept later on in life uh, yeah you know just just ignore that i know this is relatively short but i should probably cut it off here this is kind of a half hour but i'm about to like pause for a while and i'd rather not completely miss my topic anyway thank you so much you've been uh for watching or listening in this case uh this has been our pie and I hope to see you again in, a, in the next Howard Half Hour, where I complain about Google, YouTube, and all the other websites I love.